I'm in a bill ball against my friends. But what they don't know is I'll be cheating with slash slash scream, which will turn anything I build completely scary, just so I can scare my friends. Scary myths. Don't get scared, guys. Ooh. And the reason I said that is simple. If I do slash slash scream, I get this, which is a scream mask. And it'll turn anything scary. So, Cal, you're a perfect test subject. So, if I punch you with a scream mask, oh my, his eyes have already changed. But he looks completely normal. There's not really anything that would scream at me. Oh, he actually screams. Let me get rid of the evidence. Well, this might be a little too overpowered. But I already have a really cool idea with what I want to build. So, I need to first build an igloo. And you're honestly that actually doesn't look that bad. Okay, let's have a lectern and that'll be the start of lore. Let's place a desert temple. I'd say it looks pretty cozy so far, but that's not what we're going for because I could just add a bunch of redstone around here and by screamifying it, I can make it into blood, which already makes this a little bit more creepier. You guys know the story about soul sand, huh? How there's souls literally trapped in the sand. Yeah, I think I kind of really like that. But we can't forget to add a bed inside with some chests. If I was summon a sheep this time, would you do the exact same if I was to hit you with the scream mask? Oh, wait, he's looking the opposite where his eyes have changed. Oh my, yeah. That's gonna get kind of scary, so I'm gonna leave you there. I'm just gonna block you off, don't mind me. Just stay in there until the build's complete. This is gonna get good. Okay, we're gonna go to a secret room. And inside that secret room, we're gonna have some stuff that comes out of tombstones, I think. But we have a creepy abandoned igloo, which is gonna be one of many scary builds we're gonna be making. Now, I don't know what Kipley's doing, but it's over on my side. But there's another cool feature with the scream mask. Using it, I'm able to become a ghost. And the cool thing is if i go over on their side they can't see me at all all right the trees are looking good so far looking extra spooky hi kipley i'm right in front of you all right we're gonna start in this corner and we gotta go on a little adventure into a spooky nether forest but what's even crazier if i was to right click this block there we go. It's become black. And that's because it's going to corrupt this entire biome. Ghibli, I'm sorry, but I had to test it out. Wait, what is this? Now, it shouldn't have spread too fast, but... Oh. Wait, why is it all black up here? It's like been corrupted or something. Yeah, her build's been corrupted. Okay, I don't know who did this, but you low-key made it look awesome. I'll be adding some oak saplings around here just so they could kind of spawn and cover the igloo. Now, that looks a lot cooler. And I'll be changing that to snow later on because I can make the snow scream. So since I'm going with the snowy vibe, I need to make a path that will lead into my next build, which will be right here. They'll come in here and they're going to have some crazy lava parkour. And if anything screams scary, it has to be a graveyard because i'm pretty sure i can scarify these blocks just adding some simple blood around here i just need to make it look abandoned and ruined right here will be the graves and now you might be thinking there's only two graves what can i do with two that's because in one of them i'm just gonna add a player school and cover it with some coarse dirt uh, let's put some skulls around too like oh if your offer is not enough then you know rough days for you but this one's gonna be empty what i'll do is instead i'll add an armor stand with a skeleton skull now how would the scream mask make this skeleton Gary. Okay, what is this? It looks like a mutant hero, Brian. He's kind of scouting out the entire area. Oh, that's creepy. What I want to do is like make like a little wheelbarrow or something over here. Now, this is supposed to scare my friends by screaming. And I don't want to get too close. So I'm going to carefully add some redstone torches. Graveyard now complete. Quiff has built some trees. I see Kipley peeking over there. But my build looks completely natural, so it shouldn't matter too much. I bet it was pepper. It was 100% pepper, man. I'll add some blood around here just to make it a little bit more creepier and can i make these blocks scary i can oh this is awesome right now okay imagine this at night it's gonna get cursed so if i become a ghost again i can sneak up on pepper's build and he looks like he's made a desert temple i don't know how this is scary he just vanished through the wall is there something behind here oh okay so boom oh you can't even land on it okay this is a little bit creepy and really cool but you know what would be better? If I get a cow spawn egg, what I can do is I can summon a cow right here and creepify it. Now he has a bunch of creepy cows around here that would be screaming. <laughs> oh. What's going on? I don't know what that was. This is a little bit too powerful. What is that yelling? I'm getting my ears. What are you talking about? I need to figure out where I'll be making the next build. Now, I am interested about this. Since my build is ice, I can summon polar bears. But what would happen if I was to use a scream mask on a polar bear? Bear? Wait, that's not a polar bear no more. That's Freddy Fazbear. I'm just gonna look this way for a second and turn. That's creepy. 
Yes, I caught him. Okay, I'm gonna kill him before anything weird happens, and I'm the one that gets scared. But we can use that to scare my friends. Kind of leads into the second build I wanna go with, and it's gonna be a simple, scary well. I like that it's done. We have a cool looking well. Right, well, it looks like Pepper got his taste of karma, but what about Bina, huh? I don't think she has. That hurt my ears so much. Let me add some oak planks because it does look slightly more rusty. Am I able to turn this into blood planks? I can. Oh, this is awesome. Who would want to enter this well? Not me, that's for sure. And again, since it's abandoned, it doesn't need to fully be complete. Like that. That looks kind of cool. You know what, Bina? I'm going to give you a bunch of goats. Just spawn a bunch of goats. Now, the dirt kind of makes it look a little bit boring. So maybe I add black concrete to make it seem kind of endless. Okay, this definitely looked cooler than I would have thought. You really can't tell how endless this is. Now, this looks creepy, but what should be at the bottom? What we could do is have, like, the trees be the hair of Medusa. Right now, I'm thinking of Enderman because he kind of merges in. But something better would be if I could punch this Enderman and make him creepy? Oh, my, I actually can. What exactly do you do? Oh my! I think I'm the one being scared right now. This Enderman will be the guardian of the well. I don't know how much more creepy this build can get. Because once I start planting the trees, it's starting to get a lot creepier. All right, now we got to make like a cool, scary looking skeleton dude that chases after everyone. Now we have three different myths. We have the screaming sheep, the mutant hero Brian, which I still don't know where he's disappeared to. And the scary evolved Enderman. Yeah, this well is looking awesome. Can I scarify the actual oak trees? I can. All right, from here we go this way. Now, what can we build? build over here, huh? This side's kind of empty, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make the entrance right here. I do need to add a build. And the thing is, I don't want him to get scared early on, so I'm just gonna make a sled. But the thing is, I'm gonna make it completely broken. There we go, a simple sled. It pains me to do this, but it has to be done. If I just TNT it... There we go. We now have a broken sled. And it can't be too creepy, so I'll just add some player heads around here. And now we have a sled with a few heads. But like always, I need to add some sort of blood splatter around here to make it a little bit more creepy. Because this is a scary myth. There we go. It kind of looks natural now. Oh, that guy's scary. Oh my gosh. What can we do to make it more spooky? We have an like, altar to summon something. Okay, you got to give something up. I say we build a giant summoning circle. But I'm gonna build a bunch of snowmen. Add a carved pumpkin. Oh, wait, I didn't really think that through. Never mind, no carved pumpkin for us. Instead, what if I was to add wither schools? And in front of each one is a blue campfire. Well, that side's pretty much done. I can finalize this bit by just adding a bunch of trees around here. I've now caught four scary Minecraft myths. And it's about to get even scarier. I'm gonna keep this side simple by writing a sign that says don't look away. And pretty much just spam the bunch of signs right here. I can cover the back side with trees. There we go, don't look away. And that pretty much could mean the mutant and hero bind that I somehow disappeared back. I can spawn them again when it's time. There we go, we got this little circle here. So now now let's raise it up by one. Now this is where it's gonna get kind of creepy. Right here, I'm gonna make a giant tree. A base like this could actually look really cool because I'm gonna make a giant hanging tree, which means it can't look like that. This kind of looks like a nice tree, although why are the leaves breaking? This makes no sense. Oh my gosh, we so could add a hero brand jump scare. Let's do that. But right here, I'll be adding a bunch of chains. If I was to just make a normal spruce looking house, it doesn't need to be anything too crazy. And just by adding a simple door, it's done. Now this might look stupid, but I'm pretty sure I could scream this entire build and make it scary by left clicking and yo it's made a creepy looking house that's covered in blood okay this build is almost complete yes this is looking awesome look at this I'd be scared if I found this in a random nether forest huh? look at all these candles I'd be terrified the last thing I'm gonna make is right over here and I'm gonna make a little ritual area with mobs in case so I need to copy this on all four sides or maybe on three sides I kind of like this and what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna break them like something escaped. Or maybe I keep this one like there's something still in there. I'm gonna add some Herobrine lore right there. We now have seven trapped scary myths. Let me quickly go spy up on Kipley. She's going with something insane. Yeah, I like that. I like it. I like it. Now he looks scary. Now he looks like he's some corrupt soul looking guy. I don't even know what this is. And I don't even know how she did it. But she's also got trapped mobs here too. I'm gonna set all this off. Just don't mind me. No! Who's killing them? Wait, no, no, no! The sacrifices! They were supposed to be sacrificed like this. Who did this? Oh, wait, when is she arrived? Good thing she can't see me. Oh my, what if I possess one of the LAs? I'm gonna possess this LA right here. And now that I'm the LA, I'm just gonna play some TNT right here. Wait, yo, does that LA have TNT in his hand? Where did you get that from? I just blew up. Did the LA just place that? Stop! No, no, no! Oh my! 
I blew up. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. That was just so small. That's good to know I can possess them. I think what I need to do now is start finalizing this build. And with that, the trees have been added and it's all been covered. Now, I kind of have an idea with what I want to do inside this house. I really hope this works. But I kind of want to build Michael Myers. I don't know if you guys know who he is. Not exactly the screen, but something semi-similar. There we go. Now, you know it's Michael Myers. And this is the knife. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so scary. I think I'm very proud of how interactive of this is and like what would make it even better is if it was nighttime okay so far tim oh my okay i i think i messed up the knife he's not holding anything oh uh, you know what he can chase in the forest i want you to stay around here to say he chases people what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add some villagers right here i'm gonna add some blood around here and yo this looks super cool i've made it netherworld blocks and magma now this looks haunted i'm gonna turn the grass blocks into blue ice and with that i think this place is done what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a polar bear right here and turn him into freddy fazbear so when they come in he's just gonna be there but the longer they walk the more he'll follow come this way we're about to find the scariest myth in minecraft Ooh, what is this as you can see we have little lays they kind of look like lost souls oh this is spooky give your most prized possessions up people toss it down the hole right here here's my full inventory of netherite blocks so you might be wondering wow okay we just sacrificed all of our earthly possessions what is the next trial so you might be wondering, wow, okay, we just sacrificed all of our earthly possessions. What is the next trial? All right, some black voidness going on here, corrupting the land. Okay, I like it. Choose four sacrifices. I choose uh, sacrificing. No, Whoa, Quiff just murdered all of them. It, it had to be. It had to be. You could have saved one, you psychopath. He killed the dog and the cat and the villager. Every single one of them is now dead. Well, I, I guess you passed the trial. <laughs> All right, what's the next trial, Kipley? Final trial. Who is the strongest among you? Offer your soul. Quiff. What is this? Walk the chains, man. Walk the chains. Oh, this is creepy. You're being sacrificed, buddy. Oh, Bubba. my. Voila. Whoa. Whoa. The king of souls. Oh, yo, this is so cool. Can't believe this is easily a 9 out of 10. I give it a 9 out of 10. I, I'm going to give it a 9, too. This was awesome. Can't believe you got 27 out of 30. If y'all want to follow me, come down right here and read the signs going right here. Oh, this is creepy. No, I don't know if I like this. Wait, is there stuff in the barrels? Oh, there is. Slayer. Okay, this food sucks. Read right here. Cursed by the gods, making her a monster of stone. Oh, this is Medusa. Wait a second. Oh, yo, it looks like a snake head. I thought it looked like Medusa. Wait, are these are these stone pillars past people? Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad someone noticed. Yes, these are the people that she has slayed. Guys, it goes downstairs. Look at this map. Yeah, That's look cool. at the, the yo, map. Wait, what? Whoa! Whoa! Now you feel how it feels to be trapped. Oh, oh, we're trapped down here now. Oh, I like it. I like it. Small, this is this was actually really cool. I'm gonna give this an eight out of ten. I like it. It's a nine out of ten. Eight point five out of ten. Small got twenty-four out of thirty. Legend has it of a cursed desert temple. Cursed by Herobrine, as you can see with its white eyes. This is actually a cursed desert temple. What? Everyone can look here, and there's chest loot for every single person. There's one, two, three. I Chest plate? How is this fair? Oh, I go, I'm stuck. You have to be in survival for this. <gasps> what the? Did anyone else see that? So what? Hero Brian appeared in front of my face. Okay, this seems kind of normal. You know, just normal desert table. I don't have a pickaxe. Woo! If you'll look around, no one ever comes down here after the TNT explodes. So you're like, hmm, what could be down here? And then you'll look here. There's no, this has to be a door. Oh, wait, there's a hole right here. Look, there's a staircase and then a lever in the staircase. Wait, that's so... Yo! Wait, is this parkour? Okay, I think I got this. I'm going! I'm coming! Woo! No, no, guys, this is a this is a trap chest right here. Oh, let's open it. What? Hey! Yo! Oh. They're so ugly. Kill them! Kill them! Honor. Kill them! Uh, well, we're back at the start. Honestly, this bill is a ten out of ten. I give it a nine. That is a nine point five out of ten. Pepper got twenty out of thirty. This is my build. I've gone with a spooky iceberg kind of vibe. Okay, I like it. I like it. Look at all the blood. What is this? There's, there's been a crash. Oh. The sled's been broken and there's, and there's no escape. Santa. What is this? Don't mind him. He's just, he's just, he, he's an automatronic. He has no life. He's, he's kind of disappeared. Okay. Yeah. He's not moving. He's not, he's not doing anything weird. Okay. Oh, whoa. It's, it's a bunch of dead snowmen. No, not 
the snowman. Well, he just moved. He just moved. He just moved. He just moved. He can't move. He's not a player. There's only four of us. Keep my eye on you, buddy. And then you come across this well. Now, the first thing you think is, who put this well here? There's a, there's a scary thing down here. You might not know it's because of how black it actually is. But there's something lurking down at the well. Uh, uh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm okay. He's been cursed by the well. It's fallen us. I don't want to look away from it. And before we head to the hanging tree, you discover a graveyard and you see signs. Don't look away from what, Freddy? So you might not notice, but if you check the graveyard. <gasps> Wait, no, he, he, he looks friendly. He's not attacking me. Hey there, buddy. What's up? Are you go ah! Oh my God. And now this was a murder scene. You wonder who <gasps> destroyed the sleigh? Who was in the well? Who was in the graveyard? And when it couldn't get worse, you realize there's an igloo. Nah. And once you've passed the hanging tree, you realize this entire snow biome is cursed. I know whose ritual that is. Ain't no way. Then you decide, oh, wait, there's a house. There's a man. There's a man here. You got it, small. Luckily, there's a door right here that will just lead to your escape. Yo, the hero points. Bina, you have armor. You have armor. You go. <laughs> go away. Go away. <laughs> and with that, you've escaped. That was a 10 out of 10, man. I am horrified. I hate being jump scared like that. That was awful. Oh, but also awesome. I give you a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Meaning I scared my friends and it was only starting. Abandoned village. Ooh. Don't scream, guys. Oh, no. Now, the reason I said that is because I'm going to make the scariest village. That's going to give you jump scares. Now, before I do anything on my actual build, I'm going to leave the build arena. Because like I thought, there is a village right here. I'm just going to paste the village right here. Oh, this is looking awesome. It almost looks very creepy with how organized it is. Wait a second, did Kipley do the exact same thing? And just like that, I got myself a real village. She has! She's copied an exact village. Oh. Okay, there we go. Now we have a thriving village. Now we just make, need to make it look uh, abandoned. But what she doesn't have is if I do slash a scream, I can make these villages completely scary like this. That's what abandoned village means. But how can I make this more abandoned? I think adding cobwebs everywhere would be really cool. Oh, I just heard TNT. Pepper's going with the same vibe. It's like the best idea, I'm thinking. Just blow up everything. I do like the idea of just blowing up my village just to make it seem a little bit more abandoned. <laughs> you just blowing up your build too? Oh, are you doing the exact same thing? <laughs> I was thinking if someone's blowing up my stuff and it's like, oh, they're just blowing up their own stuff just like me. Pepper, I'm just saying we team because I have a feeling they're both going to team too. What's the best way to like team on this? Should we like, should I just go invis and start fixing the broken parts of their build while you work on it? I say first we tear down this wall. Let's get the wall, yeah. I've, I've got an unlikely ally in Pepper because I have a feeling Kipley's going to be teaming with Small. We got to team together. Yeah. So the smart thing is to team with an enemy because I can then get away with these dead villagers and if they find out, blame it on Pepper. Time to make a crazy build. Yeah, let's make this insane. I'm going to make like a big windmill in the middle and just by simply adding a bunch of fire all over the place, it already looks more abundant. So they noticed that we were teaming Teaming, right? So I made this command block that will prevent them from teaming. This basically makes it to where Kipley and Small can't be close to each other. There's no way. It just teleports them away from each other. If this is actually true, it's genius. Stop flying away from me! <laughs> Dude, no, seriously, I... Ah! Pina, what is wrong with you? Come here! Oh my god, wait, I can't... I can't hear you if you're this far away from me! Oh, it doesn't let them get close! That's so funny! Oh, maybe teaming with him was the smartest decision I've ever made. Because now I don't even need to worry about them teaming. I can just work on my build, make it crazy, and then scare them all at the same time. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, I've made a nether portal this big. But what I'm thinking now is using simple world edit for netherrack, magma block. Oh, yeah, like the nether's infecting this entire place. Just play some netherrack, and I think... It does look like the nether seeping in. I will be checking up on the competition, but what in the fake world is this? I don't know if I like this. What I will do, though, I don't know if this is even going to work. Pressure plate will be right here. Without me hitting it, can I put the door? And that's the only one that looks kind of weird. Just in case, I'm just going to add a head there. And have Herobrine haunting them in their own build. Why is Herobrine in front of our house? I think Ghibli might have noticed he stands out like a sore thumb. What are you doing here? I'm not clicking you. What did you do to this? What did you do to this? Oh, no, no, no. You, oh, she, she almost killed Herobrine. Oh, oh, Bina's going to be so upset. Oh my God. No, 
block that up. And I was never here. All right, Pepper, I think our build's complete. I know, this is looking really good. Well, the time now up, we had to meet in the middle. Welcome to the simulation. The simulation. This looks weird. Abandoned giant village. And you walk around and you just think to yourself, man, something is just not quite right here. That's half a house here. Hey, glitch in the matrix. Ooh, I kind of like that. And you notice how the clouds aren't real either? It's a two out of ten. It kind of sucks for you guys teaming too. Three. So we come over to our building. You can see there's corruption from the nether. Okay, giant nether portal. As you see, it's completely on fire. There is not a villager to be seen except one. That's right here. No, there's one over here. Y'all lie. They're the survivors that we left to keep the tail. Oh, what is wrong with him? He does not have nice trades. He has no trades because he's dead. He was never alive. There's nothing left. There's player heads on the floor. They were recently killed. Oh, what is this guy? He's a real killer killer of all the villagers in this abandoned village. He was a serial killer all along. And he was hiding in the windmill. But yeah, this is the entire abandoned village. Uh, yeah, no, I still like our simulation one better, but I do like the mobs. I don't know how you got them to want to die like this. Look at him. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be nice. I'll give you guys a solid six. I will take a six. I'll give you a five. Meaning my friends were scared and my job was complete. 